everyone this is a video I have been wanting to make for ages now and I never did get to it for some reason but here it is I went out into my garden and I picked out some of the new uh, sprung uh, leaves that was on the bush in there on there out there <laughs> something out there um, and I am going to take some of my mold putty. I'm using silicone for this. This is a two-part mold putty where you take half and half and mix that very well together so it gets a uniform color and then you can make a mold. So I'm going to flatten out this mold putty and then I'm going to stick the three small leaves I found from this little sprout in my garden. And I'm just going to put them um, into this mold putty and squeeze them just a tiny bit, not too much, just a little. Then I'm going to leave this mold for like half an hour, maybe an hour. It's depending on what kind of mold putty you're using. This silicon needs half an hour to harden before I can continue. I'm using a tiny bit of baby powder to place here on the top of this mold. Uh, just a very very thin layer. This will prevent the mold putty to stick together with the hardened mold putty Then I am going to mix a new part of mold putty again one to one and Mix it together until it has a uniform color and I'm going to Carefully place that on top of the first mold with the leaves in there when you're happy with the top mold, then leave that to dry as well for half an hour or an hour. Just make sure it is hardened before you continue. Then I am carefully taking the two parts uh, apart. That's the word, apart. I'm taking the two parts apart from each other and taking out the small leaves. And I'm stuck with a two-part mold for a 3D leaf. That simple. I made a Skinner blend with a light and a dark green color. If you don't know what a Skinner blend is, then please look it up here on YouTube. There is a lot of videos everywhere about Skinner blends. I have these two uh, leaf cutters here. They work perfect for this little mold here. So I'm just going to push out a piece of the uh, Skinner blend and put that between the two layers of my mold squeezing the mold really really good and careful together and then I can release the done leaf that is just ready for use. If you don't have these uh, cutters here, then you can just cut out a piece of the Skinner blend in around the shape of a leaf and then place that between the two parts of the mold and squeeze it carefully together and you should have around the same result. I wanted to do something with these leaves just to show you how to use them or what you can use them for. So I took one of my lanterns and I placed a tiny bit of silver uh, tin foil in, at the bottom of it. And then I am making this green um, dot in the middle on the silver foil. I'm starting with a few of the bigger leaves at the bottom here. And then I made a few roses before I started recording the video. I will leave a few links in the info box below for some of my videos where I show how to make roses. Um, I'm also going to leave a link for the lantern, the STL print file uh, in the info box below if you want to make this one. 
then I'm just using a tiny bit of my pick and bond to connect these roses with this little um, blob in the middle. And I'm just gonna continue putting leaves and roses on there until I'm happy with this little one. When I'm happy with the result, I am just slowly sliding this tinfoil piece out of this little lantern and I'm placing it on my baking tray and I'm baking it. When it has cooled down after baking, I can take off the tinfoil and glue the little uh, flower thingy into the lantern and glue the lantern together. I'm not showing you here how to connect the lantern. Uh, you will have to find that in the video for the lantern. Um, I will leave a link for that in the info box below. So that is everything for today. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Oh, and I have a question. Um, how long do you like my videos to be? You like them longer or shorter? Please tell me in the comments below so I can uh, figure that out. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.